What's up and welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over all the ways to connect your Quest 3S to your PC. First, I want to send out a huge thank you to Meta for sending this to me. What I like most about the Quest 3S not only is the price tag low, but also this is the perfect entry level for VR. I was pretty jealous to see this controller charging dock roll out. This would have been perfect for the Quest 3 launch. Now I'm not here to review the Quest 3S. For those of you who do want to know, the Quest 3S is the entry level and the Quest 3 will give you the better experience. Now the first method I'm going to go over is Airlink. Airlink is built in and it is free. So download the Meta PC app on your computer. Once you have it installed, come back to your headset. You're going to need to go over to your settings right here. From there, hit system. Go down to Quest Link from Quest Link. Check it on. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi. I can't stress that enough. So set your headset up to being on the 5G for your Wi-Fi. Plug your PC in via Ethernet because that will definitely eliminate the lag. Well as much of it as you possibly can. So from here, you can just select Launch Quest Link. You can see right here, it says Use Air Link. You're going to want that on. Now from here, you're going to see your available PCs. Click on the one that you have your Meta PC app downloaded on and then select Pair. From here, you're going to have a confirmation code. Check it on your PC to be sure it's the same one. Go ahead and select Continue. From here, you can actually launch it on their quick launch settings or you can just go ahead and launch it from here. I just want to show you real quick for the video. So you don't have to keep going over to AirLink every time you launch it. You hit the quick settings just on your battery right here. Quest Link right there. Right here, you're automatically selected to dynamic. If you're having issues or you're stuttering or things like that, you can change this over to a fixed and you can set it to either 80 or above. Just know that the more megabytes you do per second, the more latency you're going to cause. So our controllers do take over the PC. You can kind of come over here and just do whatever you want. Right here, you can see that we are connected. If we select this to the right, right down here, the graphics preferences. You can see the refresh rate. They automatically set to 72 hertz. And the render resolution is kind of buffed. That's cool. But we want to go either to 90 or 120. This is going to reset this. Like it's going to go ahead and reboot, which is fine. We're going to select 90 with what they actually recommend, the 3712 by 1888. I still want to see things crystal clear. And I play a lot of first person shooters, so 90 still works for me. Let's save and restart. Now we're linked again. As you can see, the Quest 3S right here. And it took the 90 hertz and now it's at 3712 by 1888. And here we are in some PC VR. Oh, that was nice. Are these my legs? They don't even look like legs. What? Whoa! All right, playing hard bullet right here. You can see that there's 60% of the GPU being utilized just from that. The server that Meta uses here, their app is actually draining about 37%. And keep in mind, this is a 3090. They utilize 30% at all times for some reason. Even on my older rig, it always acquired at least 30%. That's how you use AirLink. I'm gonna show you the cabled method as well. I do have a pulley system I used. I got it plugged in backwards, I know. But now from your headset, you're just gonna go to Quest Link, launch, turn off Air Link if that is on. If you're set it up for the first time, you won't have to do this. So we turn that off. You're gonna see that it's searching for the PC. When it finds the PC, it's gonna say Rift. That is okay, that is what you're looking for. We click on Rift and launch it. Voila, we are right back into the PC, just like this. A little less latency, a little more stabilized. You see OVR is still utilizing 37%, even with the cable in. It's still encoding and then shoving it through here. So it's still getting compressed when it goes through the cable. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you is Steam Link. Steam Link is free as well. You just go into your search bar, type in Steam Link, and you'll see it populate right here. Whenever you do this, you're gonna be presented with this permissions. Allow all permissions. And also you're gonna get this pairing code. Confirm it on your PC. And boom, we are in here. And also you can see that the controllers are actually registering correctly. They're not the Rift controllers or whatever those controllers were. You're gonna go into your VR settings. Your refresh rate, you can set that to 90 or up to 120, whatever you wanna use. Render resolution, I'll leave it on auto, all of this. But if you come over to Steam Link, target bandwidth set to manual. I believe this still saves it even for my Quest 3. Target bandwidth, I'll leave that at 100. Again, the more you add to it, the more latency you're going to have. Encoder video size, I leave to manual and I set the encoded all the way up, 1344. With these settings, I get the most out of Steam Link. This game looks great and I can play Russian Roulette with these people. There we go. Now we're just going to spin this. Oh, I'm hitting my microphone. Right, this guy up here, we're doing some Russian Roulette with him. Ooh, 
Well, he lost. As you can see right here, the VR server is using about 64%. Hard Bullet is using about 40%. So it seems like that is kind of flipped from what Airlink uses. Now let's move over to Virtual Desktop. This one is a little more customizable. With Virtual Desktop, this does cost money. I'm going to have a link in the description and pinned to the comments as well. First, you got to download this on your PC. And then from your headset, we just search it on the store. So as long as you have the client open on your PC before you start it up in your headset, it'll start syncing and it'll see it. This is what you get whenever you don't run it on your PC. Now I'm connected to Virtual Desktop. To get started, Press the left menu button. You're going to head to your settings. You can kind of customize everything. I have the environment quality set to medium. I do have my 90 frames per second. That's where I tend to linger to because I want higher resolution. Now, if you go up to 120, you're going to have to drop your resolution a little, but you will have a more smooth experience. Make sure you do have your microphone pass through set to on. And I set mine to 85%. This way I just don't ear rate people. So whenever you go to your streaming, this is where the magic happens. I am set to ultra because I have a 3090. If you are godlike, be my guest. VR frame rate, I set to 90. And then my bit rate, I still have it around 100 megabytes per second. If I'm playing competitively, I drop that even more because I don't want the latency. So this is where you get all the free bacon, right? What up? Oh, whoa, Jesus Christ. Oh. So as you can see, Hard Bullet is using 55% of the GPU and Virtual Streamer is using 29. So we have some headroom, which is nice to have. And this is being recorded directly on the Quest desk. What's this guy want? All right, so that's it with Virtual Desktop. Let me know which one you want to use. Are you going to use AirLink? Do you want to use Steam Link? Are you going to be using Virtual Desktop? Again, Virtual Desktop does cost money. The link will be down there in the description. Also pinned to the comments as well. The game that I was playing is Hard Bullet and is only for Steam VR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Till then. There's one right here, right here. Oh. Oh, slam, that's one of them. Okay, now they're gonna play space with you. Hey, black man's a good play. Kill, kill black man. Come on, give him a con. Do you want to break it out the window? Do you want to break it out? Give him a con. Black man. Black man's usually on flank, so check the door. Yeah, he was running behind me. Shit. We're palling up to the kitchen. Yeah, we're palling up to the kitchen. Let him play. He's a track star. Just let him play. Let him run. I four shits. I need to shot. I need to team that maybe. Come on. 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 Come on